one of the places we walked, went through in Siberia was Berevijan. And my father got out of the train, he sees some guy, and he started speaking Yiddish to him. The guy just about had a heart attack. He says, listen, get right back on the train. Anybody hears us, we're both going to be deported. So it was not the Jewish paradise that anybody thought. In fact, one of his brothers was killed in the, in the purges. He was an agronomist in Birbhajan and was executed as a Japanese spy, you know. So uh, it's just crazy. But one of the first people who knocked on our door when we came in to apartment 2A in 3951, Gouverneur Avenue in the Bronx, was a Mrs. Stein, who's about this big, this tall, uh, with a little pushka, you know, for Berbajan. Was my father says, come right in, and we were just in Berbajan, <laughs> which is like the last thing she expected. And uh, so he started to tell her about Berbajan, and she screamed at him that he was a fascist dog, and she ran out. But not only that, later, when I came out of the building, she had this son, Carl Stein, who I understand because I connected with people. Even in his 60s was a bully. But this was, he was, I was maybe six or seven, seven. He was maybe nine. And so he jumped me and he banged his head, my head against the sidewalk. I was bleeding. And Mrs. Stein was saying, hit him again, Carly, hit him again. <laughs> So, anyhow, I always meant to somehow catch up with Carl Stein. 